tonight on Be Something Wonderful, how to manifest anything you desire without effort. I'm your host, Tom Kieran, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, welcome back. I got a great lesson tonight. This was inspired by Patrick, one of our followers. Patrick asked me, Tom, can you please do a video on, on manifesting, a step-by-step -step on manifesting the life of our dreams? And it's a great, Patrick, I'm glad you asked because <laughs> I've done a lot on manifesting effortlessly. I've done a lot on manifesting the life of your dreams, but I'm gonna tackle it tonight. I'm, we're gonna come from a different direction. I'm gonna give you something big. And here, and I'm gonna start with this, guys. Pay attention, because this is gonna change everything. The, the, the reason we sometimes we feel like we're struggling with our manifestations, that we're struggling in life to, to attract our dreams and our desires and all of that, is that we, when, we, when, we listen, when we read books, when we listen to other spiritual teachers, when we listen to other uplifters, we try to follow steps and exactly do what they do. The method, they, we try to follow methods and techniques. And this, guys, is what's throwing you off course. Because it's not about memorizing steps. It's not about techniques. It's not about necessarily doing a vision board, although that might help. It's not necessarily about doing, manifest, doing meditation for 15 minutes and then once in the morning and once in, in the evening. If it starts to become work, and you stop thinking that you get, it's a chore and that you gotta get it over with, now you're working against yourself. Now there's huge resistance. And this is what happens with all these techniques, with all these, with all these steps, with all these things that we have to do, do a gratitude journal. Instead, guys, it's not about, listen carefully, because this is huge. It's not about doing, trying and efforting. It's about feeling sensing and being. I'm going to say this again because this is going to, this is the basis of the whole lesson tonight. Patrick, this is for you too. Remember, it's not about doing. It's not about efforting. It's not about trying. It's about feeling. It's about sensing. It's about being. That's big. That's why we struggle. Right, we're trying to we're trying to manually wrestle our way to get our manifestations. Right, we're going to follow steps, and we oh, we forgot the steps. Am I doing it right? All of this comes up. All of this resistance. As soon as someone says, "I have steps to for the life of your dreams," immediate resistance. You can feel the knots in your stomach. You can feel the resistance. It's heavy. But if I just say, guys, we're going to feel our way to it. We're going to sense our way to it. We're going to be our way to it. Oh, wow. All of a sudden, I get a chill even when I say that. All of a sudden, the, the weight is lifted. Your, your, your connection to that divinity has autom has, is automatic, right? Be why, guys? Because it's natural. You don't need steps and techniques to be what's natural. You don't need steps and techniques to feel what's natural. You don't need steps and techniques to sense that divinity within. You just got to know it's there and then, and, and then slowly feel that well up inside of you. It's, it's a beautiful thing, right? Slow down. Don't, don't go automatically jump on techniques and jump on doing this and jump on trying that. Instead, do nothing, absolutely nothing but feel, sense, and be in that is what we're going to talk about tonight. So guys, how do you manifest anything? So the one thing I want to say is don't try to follow or imitate anybody, not even me, not me or anybody else or any other spiritual teacher. There are a lot of great spiritual teachers out there. There's Abraham Hicks. There's the late Wayne Dyer. There's um, uh, an endless amount of teachers. Tony Robbins, uh, who, who takes a lot of massive action. Um, wow. Uh, Dr. Uh, Joe Dispenza talks about a, a lot of this stuff. So many even from the, the, the uh, uh, Neville Goddard, the late Neville Goddard, and then back in, 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 in the early times, the prophets. Guys, you've got to walk your own walk. It's only when, when we try to imitate, when we try to do steps, when we try to follow someone else's what's working for them, that's what trips us up. You've got to get in touch with your divinity. 
And that's what we're going to talk about. So, no, forget about the step-by-steps. There's nothing to do. There's nothing to study. It's personal. It's between you and that higher you. Let me say that again. It's between you and that higher you. You and God. You and your divinity. Nobody else. There's no techniques. Nothing to do. No step-by-step. Nothing to study. What a relief. Do you feel lighter already? So let me give you what what you can't, what you should, what not what you should feel, what you what you have potentially can feel within, right? Everybody's going to feel it differently. You're going to sense it differently, and you're going to be different. I'm just going to lay. I'm just going to uh, show you the portal, right? Right? It's up to you to kind of go through the portal for yourself. So the first thing I'll say is feel appreciation and gratitude for everything. So. So notice, I'm not telling you to do steps. I'm not laying out a step-by-step what to do. I'm not telling you to, to necessarily meditate. I'm not, I'm not even telling you to do a gratitude journal. I'm just, what we're doing, guys, is establishing what a lot of spiritual teachers call the receiving state or the allowing state, right? You've got to be in that state of connection with that divinity. This is how you get there. It's not by doing. It's about feeling. Feel, when you feel appreciation and gratitude for everything, you're now in that receiving state. You're in that allowing state to manifest the life of your dreams. I'll get back to asking and intention in a second. But you can talk about what, what if the universe doesn't know? What if God doesn't know what I want? He knows. Believe me, he knows. That's all. Most of the time we get stuck in asking. We get stuck in the asking stage, and I'll get back to that. That's the first thing. The second thing is absolute trust, a total surrender now to that higher power. Once you start feeling appreciation and gratitude, it's easy to now, it's a lot easier to surrender. You're feeling it. You're, you're going to surrender to that higher power, that God, all there is, the intelligent mind, right? Feel the gratitude, absolute trust and surrender to it. And then give, give, give to, give, call somebody up and tell them how much you love them. Call them how much you appreciate them. Um, give compliments, um, give hugs. Right? It doesn't have to be money. Give, give some of your time. Giving is so powerful. Because why? Because we're all one. So when you give, you're automatically receiving. Give love, guys. Give as much as you can. Compassion, love, and give your joy away. Give your joy away. This is key. We're, we spend a lot of time trying to, trying to find joy for ourselves. Trying to find happiness. Trying to... Um, uh, trying to get some sort of uh, entertainment, some pleasure from life. Instead of doing that, guys, give the joy away. Give your happiness away. When you do that, you can't help but be happy. Wow, this is big tonight. Give the joy away. Instead of trying to seek it and hold on to it for yourself, that happiness that you, that, that's why happiness, you can never find it because you're not giving, you got to give it. That's the only path to it. So this is huge, that giving. And then, and then finally, guys, I want to say love what is. That's natural. Love what is. Whatever comes up, don't criticize. Don't complain. Don't, don't, even if it's something that's not preferred or doesn't appear to be preferred, love everything that is. This, guys, gets you in the allowing state. This gets you in that, that state of, of surrender, of of power, that, 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 uh, that God-given state of joy, of absolute power, of absolute peace. This is huge tonight. Yeah, it's huge. And so this is, this is really what I wanted to talk about. It, it's not about following steps. It's not about asking, right? It's not about, now let's get back to that. So you might say, well, what about the step about asking? You're always asking. God knows your dreams. God knows your desires. You don't have the reason we we get we get stuck and they don't manifest is because we stay in the state of we get frustrated, we get we get um, we get uh, worried that they're not going to come, and um, and we start we continue to ask. We feel like oh we didn't ask correctly or God didn't hear us or the universe doesn't know what I want. The universe knows, guys. Stop asking. You don't have to. Instead, have a carefree light intention. This is the key. Right? Just set the intention and let it and let what is be what is. Love what it is. Right? This is how your dreams come true. How can they not? How can they not when you are 
feeling appreciation and gratitude for everything, everything, whatever, with, with no judgment. You're not judging it right or wrong, good or bad. You're, you're, you're loving it all. And then you have absolute trust because you're in that powerful state of gratitude and appreciation. You, you can now surrender. A lot of people ask me, a lot of followers ask, how do I surrender? That's how you surrender. You can't help but surrender when, you're, when you start appreciation and feeling gratitude for everything. You're now surrendering to that higher power. Why? Because everything's going to be working for you, even when you think it's not. This is key. Then give. Give love, time, compliments. But more important, guys, give your joy away. Give it all away. All your happiness that you're trying to keep for yourself, that you're trying to find, give it away. Wow. Yes. And then finally, love what is. Love whatever comes up. Right? There's a great book, Loving What Is, by Byron Katie. I'll leave a link below. And um, very powerful, guys. But this, so this is natural. So there's nothing to do. There's no step-by-step. -step. There's nothing to study. There's no techniques. I'm not even recommending. It, meditation's great. Do it. Vision boards are okay. The only problem is with all of those things, guys, if you have any resistance going in. If you're thinking that you have to do it out of obligation or do it to get what you want, that's what causes resistance. Instead, be it. It's not about doing. It's not about trying, right? It's not about efforting. It's about feeling. It's about sensing and it's about being. That's what I wanted to get to you tonight, guys. This is huge. There's a lot more on this. Patrick, call this part one because there's a lot, there's a lot to unpack here. This is what I wanted to start with, guys, tonight. This is Tom Karen with the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification button, and like and share our videos. That's how we get our message out with great love. This is Tom. Until next time.